Hello, Flated friends and family and fellow roadies. Ken Hovey with Flated. And this week, we're gonna go on an annual tradition of work. And that is my family has owned a ranch back surrounded by national forest for three generations. And every year when we try to get in there for the first time, there's undoubtedly a bunch of logs and debris and some snow banks to get through in order to get down there and cut our way in for the summer. So this week I've loaded up all my gear, not only in my truck, but underneath my air cap. And we're gonna cut our way in, go do some fishing, hiking around, show you the mountains, and of course do some truck bed camping. We're back here up around 9,000 feet. It's beautiful and no one's around. Time to go to work. All right, we have made it to the entrance to the property and right off the bat, there's log number one that we've got to get out of here. Not too bad. Great thing is I bought a new chainsaw this year. Let's put on some lumberjack clothes for protection and start to cutting. Also, one thing I wanted to show you, you can see my truck totally dusty i didn't even have it zipped all the way shut on the way up here but a question we get is how much dust gets in the back let's have a look nothing like the clothes everything no dust maybe just a tiny bit but not much at all All right, actually turned out to be three of them. Three down. <laughs> Who knows how many to go? It's like a three mile road in there, so I'm curious how many more fell. All right, 100 yards later, and we got another. Oh, shit. This one's going to test. Oh, another one right behind it. Oh, okay. I thought this was going to be easy. <laughs> no. And I'm alone. Check out this monster. This one, that's a beast. And then that down there, this is gonna take a few hours. All right, success on that one. Come back and clean it up in a while, but now to deal with that, and then whatever else is beyond that. Got log number one out of the way, off to the side. It's probably. Uh, 60 feet long. Hopefully this is the last one. We'll see. We've got another mile and a half until we get into the actual ranch. So let's get to work. Ran into a bit of an issue. I'd been timing it just right, getting the saw out of the log before I pinched it, throw my blades in there. So I got my jack out of my truck. I've got it on my 
Yeti loadout box. We're gonna try to lift the tree to get my saw out and keep cutting. Let's see how it works. Yeah, success. Awesome. Woo! I made just enough of a path that I can squeak through. That was a battle of about an hour and a half. <sighs> Time for some watering. Let's see what's next. No big. I feel like Pac. I shoot a shot. I'm coming in hot. That was the last log, no more. So stoked right now. Haven't been here since last fall. Welcome to our family place. I just pulled up and as I was pulling in, a bald eagle flew over, but I'm right by the pond and there are two moose here. I'm gonna see if I can get out to the edge and show them to you on the other side without them seeing me. been up here all winter so open up the windows let the place air out before we go any further first thing I like to do each year is come in here with the blower I just open up the shed and there's a bat that was terrifying There's a big herd of elk on the other side of the lake right now coming down. I've seen everything today. The ranch is also home to one of my favorite places to catch a sunrise. Those logs, that was the hardest part of it. Road is clear. We can get in here now. Now it's time to head back to civilization. The nice thing about up here is that there's no Wi-Fi service and there's no cell reception. If you like these kind of adventures, hit the subscribe button. I'll try to keep them fun for you. I know this one was pretty basic, but good time being up here. My favorite place in the world. Time now to try to hook some trout. Thanks for joining us on our flated adventures. We'll see you out here in the mountains.